Today I spent a lot of money on Saks Fifth Avenue makeup, but I didn't spend a lot of money on Dollar General makeup, which is the brands that we're gonna be first seeing today. And we're gonna see who does what better, who got what, who did that, who want what. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria Gloria and I'm here to help you become the woman of your dreams. And I do that by spending my money so you don't have to. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and do my primings real quick. On the fancy side, I'm gonna use the La Mer The Perfect Primer. All right, so we're gonna do our luxury side over here. Have I tried this primer from La Mer before? Yes, guys, I have. And it's honestly not a bad product. It works really well. It smells really good. It doesn't have like a fragrance, but it does have like a an aroma to it. It just smells like really fancy skincare and like ugh, your credit card declining. On this side, I have everything in my Dollar General bag. Again, guys, I think I spent like maybe 60 bucks on everything here. For the primer, I got the Believe Beauty Radiantly Primed Face Primer. I use basically all of Believe Beauty's products already, guys. This isn't my first rodeo, but this primer is really pretty. It is legitimately like leaving my skin, like very glowy, very healthy, very very plumpity dumpity. And the La Mer one, oof, the La Mer one, my skin is blurred, my skin is fire, my skin is, oh. Let's go ahead and move on to eyebrows. For my luxurious side, I am gonna use the Gucci Brow Pencil. And on my Believe Beauty side, I am gonna use the Believe Brow Defining Pencil in Dark Brown. And I got this one because I actually don't think I've used this Believe Beauty pencil before. And it's so similar down to the spoolie, to the Gucci one. And they're both kind of like that creamy, really creamy formula. And I'm really, really excited to use. Okay, so I don't love, love this pencil. I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. The formula is a little too creamy and a little too pomade-y, which might be the jam for a lot of you guys, but that's just not something I want on myself. Mm, let's just give this one shoelace because I'm unimpressed. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the Gucci one. You guys, the Gucci one I've used so many times, and to be honest, it's one of my favorite brow pencils that I own. It's just a very good brow pencil, and it was like $30. Do I think you need to spend $30 on a brow pencil? No, but we're talking versus right now, guys. We're talking which is better. The Gucci one is better. That is what it is. I went ahead and did my brows. I went ahead and also primed with my setting sprays. For my luxurious side, I used my Tom Ford Hyaluronic Energizing Mist. And on the Believe Beauty side, I used my Believe Beauty Makeup Perfecting Setting Spray. Different sprays, I also went ahead and cleaned up my brows. I used the Luxurious Concealer, which was the Marc Jacobs Caffeine Shot Concealer and the Believe Beauty Concealer on the Believe Beauty Dollar General side. And we're looking not great. Let's go ahead and move on to the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and do the luxury side first. I'm gonna start off with a Tom Ford eye base, which if memory serves me correctly, I didn't love, love this. I wanna give it another shot because it's such a pretty color. This is the cream color for eyes in the shade Sphinx. See, that's actually really pretty. Like, why didn't I like you, Tom? I don't really have eyeshadows, but I am gonna use a couple of Tom Ford products. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Sheer Cheek Duo. I'm gonna use it kind of as my eyeshadow. I don't really wanna do like a cut crease or like a smoky eye or anything. I wanna do like the very avant-garde editorial Vogue magazine-ish thing to do, which is just kind of do like a monochromatic silky golden whoosh, eye and then top it off with some eyeliner and then see how that looks. I just caught that vibe today, okay? I'm gonna grab the bronzer-ish shade and I'm gonna focus this on my crease. See, that did a little something. However, I do want a little something more. So I am gonna go into my Marc Jacobs Trio palette and I'm gonna grab this shade of tan. I can just kind of pop this into my crease. There you go. There's that definition, you little sleut. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same Tom Ford palette. And with this brush, I'm gonna grab the pink kind of shade and just kind of top the other color just to add some more dimension. We're looking real cute, guys. It's very simple, very not a lot, but it's something. So we're just gonna keep going with it. For, however, the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and use Believe Beauty eyeshadows, which I have used before in the past, guys. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you are in a pinch and all you got is a Dollar General near you, a $5 bill and prayer, this is what you need. Very affordable. The packaging is pretty base, but they do have 
really pretty color stories and the formula itself is dank. I'm gonna go ahead and set the concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this gold little shimmer. Watch out I'm kinda gonna use this as like my transition shade. See, that just really just brought like something really special to the eye look. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this gold shade right here. Same brocha, cause we're all family here. And I'm just gonna kinda tuck this and kind of blow it out as well. And I'm also gonna use that very same gold and put it on my eyelid. And now, just to add some dimension, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this matte brown. Bad. I am so much more impressed with the drugstore side already. Look at this. Look at it. I'm telling you, zoom in. Look at it. It's so pretty. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do some quick eyeliner. For this side, I would have used this Louis Vuitton eyeliner that I paid $90 for. But here's the situation with this. Yeah guys, so that eyeliner was nalgas. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Believe Beauty Long Lasting Eyeliner in the shade Caviar on both sides. This is a eyeliner that I really like. When I tell you I have like five or six of these because I'm that obsessed with this eyeliner, when I tell you it's so creamy and it's so black and so intense, but whatever, we're gonna put this on our eyes. I'm gonna show you how I actually use it and then you guys are gonna be like, wow, Gloria, you're really out here looking out for us. And I'm gonna be like, yeah, I think I am. So I just sloppily apply it kind of on my lash line, just very like not fancy in any way. And then I go in with an angled brush and then the angled brush kind of helps me smoke out the line one and then paint on the actual eyeliner product in a very like smoky but like sharp way and it just adds something to the lashes so when i tell you i love this eyeliner i love this eyeliner i want to give it seven parachutes falling from the sky in a heart formation foundation i think this is gonna be one of the parts of the videos where you are gonna be very shocked very florida very like what I'm gonna be using the La Mer Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation with an SPF of 20 on the luxury side. This is a $100 foundation. Does it perform like a $100 foundation though? We'll see. If memory serves me correct, which it usually does, I don't like this foundation. I got mine in the shade 310 Beige and there's that scent. Holy guacamole. It's not my favorite foundation for that reason. I just feel like it's packed with alcohol and scent. And that's one thing my pores don't like to be packed with. All right, now let's go ahead and move on to the Believe Beauty side. I'm gonna be using my Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation. This actually, no joke, is one of my favorite foundations that I've ever used in my lifetime. I'm also a shade neutral tan in the Believe Beauty side. Just for you guys inquiring. This foundation is already clapping La Mer's butt cheeks and I'm not even exaggerating. Look how pretty and already like so like naturally pretty and radiant and this foundation is. I'm gonna go ahead and give this foundation two Golden Gate Bridges. For our concealer, I'm gonna keep on going with the Marc Jacobs Extra Caffeine Shots. One thing I will say that I do love about this concealer is that it is very lifting and it is very brightening and it is very, very blurry. Like Marc Jacobs killed it with this concealer. It's honestly one of my favorite designer concealers. On this side, however, I am gonna go ahead and use my Believe Beauty Concealer. This is a very much crowd favorite, fan favorite, my favorite concealer. Not of all time, but it's definitely in the running. I mix the shades Biscuit and Fair. We can go ahead and give these concealers like a dozen biscuits because it's a very good concealer. And let's go ahead and give the Marc Jacobs concealer like one cute cupcake because like, look how cute I look. All right, I will say that the Marc Jacobs concealer definitely brought the skin back to life on this side because on this side, it's adding a lot more luminosity, but the Believe Beauty concealer on this side actually adds a lot more like matteness, which I do like because it's something that I feel like it helps me control my oil, but it also is a lot more blurring than the Marc Jacobs one. All right, let's go ahead and set the face, set the face. Set the face. On the fancy schmancy side, I have the La Mer face powder. I'm actually gonna use this just to set my under eyes because it has a like bananas and pajamas undertone about it. And I really, I really like it. So that's what we're gonna do here. This is also a very blurring powder. Is it expensive? Is it bougie? Yeah, but it is very good. 
And for my whole side of this face, I am going to use the Gucci powder, ma'am. This is the Gucci beauty powder. I just got mine in the shade 05. And again, this is just going to be to set my entire face and to make sure that my makeup is nice and set and bougie. And on this side, I'm going to use just one powder because Lee Beauty doesn't have like a under eye setting powder or a like face powder, at least not yet, growth mindset. They just have their Believe Beauty Matte Blur Loose Powder. When I tell you I love this powder, it is so ridiculously blurry and so lightweight. And it does keep you very matte, but like a natural matte, not like a desert dry <gasps> type of dry. And I'm gonna go ahead and first set the under eyes with this, just so we have no creasings. And whatever is excess on the cap, I'm just going to sprinkle onto the rest of my Face. Bronzers. Now, when it comes to bronzers, Dollar General didn't have that because they were sold out, which still says a lot about the brand, okay? Bang, bang. I'm gonna go ahead and use a Maybelline bronzer. By the way, they actually do sell Maybelline there and they also sell Went Wild. I don't know if I love this bronzer. I don't know. It's actually not bad. All right, let's go to the baddie of bronzers. Let's go ahead and move on to the Marc Jacobs Tantalizer. I think that's what it's called, Tantalizer, or like, oh, Tantastic. This is probably one of the best bronzers ever of life. I wanna tell you, like, I didn't think a bronzer could be worth this much money and really be worth this much money. But then Marc Jacobs was like, hey girl, you got a man? And I was like, yeah, but. This is such a pretty bronzer. It's like one of those bronzers that it could be a sculpting powder, but also be like the perfect bronzer. Like, look at how, Look at how that just carved and sliced my cheekbone. For blush, these two baddies are gonna go head to head. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in the shade Ecstasy. And this is my Believe Beauty Monochrome Matte Duo Blush in the shade Gallivanter. Do I like Charlotte Tilbury blushes? No. I love Charlotte Tilbury blushes. Any face product that she makes is just so gosh darn good. This blush is not completely matte. It does have some shimmer in it, but the shimmer that it has, honestly, it's not overly shimmery to the point where it'll like exaggerate pores, but it does give you like some glow to your skin. I personally really, really, really like. Now let's go ahead and move on to the Believe Beauty side. I'm gonna go ahead and grab just the matte and then grab a little bit of the shimmer and I just kind of like to put the shimmer on top kind of as like a blush topper so for blushes as you can see I don't really have a favorite particularly I love both of them equally but just for different reasons they both perform very well they're both worth every single penny however one is a lot more pennies let's go ahead and top the face off with some highlight I'm gonna use this Shantikai brilliant face powder it's really pretty it's really bougie as you can see by the price tag it's like a gold bar just peed on my face i'm just gonna go ahead and pop this highlight into my inner corner as well and now for this side i'm going to use this golden soleil baked bronzer which is not a highlight it's a bronzer but i use it to highlight all the time so that's what we're gonna do i like it because it's big and it gives like a little subtle highlight and then i'm going to go ahead and go into this believe beauty blush trio which has a highlight in here and this i'm really gonna use to highlight and as you can see she's finessing the game too for five dollars we cannot be mad at this because again it is so effing pretty sophie let's go ahead and give the luxury side cranberries because i really like the fruit and the juice that it makes but for the drugstore side let's go ahead and give it the cranberries which is a really good band zombie for mascara here's where disappointment is going to be me but it's also going to be you as well let me just show you on this side i'm going to use the ever so popular ever so fancy ever so bougie and expensive louis vuitton la black mascara or something fancy like that this is the i'm not going to use this actually take two this is the guerlain mascara i forgot what this mascara is called but it's pretty expensive it's like 30 almost 40 dollars it's a pretty mascara don't get me wrong like the packaging itself hello hi cutie but the formula however upon application it's just not 
great. It's not my favorite. It's a very black mascara, but it's a very basic mascara. It doesn't do anything wowing and for $30 and for being a brand name. You should take my lashes to the moon and back. I actually haven't tried this Believe Beauty mascara. This is the Believe Beauty High Drama Fiber Mascara. If I did use it, I don't remember. I have used a bunch of Believe Beauty mascaras. I got mine in the shade black and the brush is looking very depressing. I don't like brushes like this. Are we gonna be disappointed on both sides? <sighs> Lit. This mascara is very dry. If some of you guys out there like like dry mascaras, I guess this is like one you should check out. I like more of like a wet formula. I don't understand what this is doing to my lashes, but I don't like it. Honestly, this is about to untether my Remember when I told you disappointment was gonna be me and you also? <laughs> but here's the thing though. I only spent $5 on this mascara. I spent almost 40 on the girl on one. I'd rather be disappointed by $5 than 40. I am gonna go ahead and set my brows with my Dior Show little brow gel. This one has some tint to it, but I really do like this little guy. Again, I spent like $30 on it. So she really does fluff up the brows and do something really pretty to them. Now for the Believe Beauty side, I do have their little translucent gel, which isn't the best brow gel I've ever used, but she's a little hot girl. She's a little sweetie. And I mean, she's there. Let's go ahead and move on to lips. For lips, I'm gonna do a little menage. We are gonna do a Tom Ford lip sculpt in the shade Extort. We're gonna do a little Gucci moment in the shade Linda Beige. And then we're gonna top it off with a $90 lip gloss from Christian Louboutin. And then on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and do a Wet n Wild lip liner. This one is in the shade Bear to Comment. And again, we're gonna do a little menage. I'm gonna use the Satin Crush lipstick by Believe Beauty in the shade Moroccan Spice. And then I'm gonna top it off with a Dollar General Believe Beauty lip gloss in the shade Georgia Peach. You guys, look at this face. Look at it. You honestly wouldn't know that one side was so ridiculously cheap. One side was maybe $60 altogether, and another side was $600. This is bananas, it's crazy. I really like the Dollar General side. Like it's giving glamor, it's giving pigment, it's giving vibes, it's giving a lot. While the very high-end luxury side is giving, again, demure, it's giving glamor, but a soft glamor, it's giving coverage, it's giving like, clean sleekness, but I really like both sides. However, I think if I had to give it to somebody, I would absolutely give it to the Dollar General side, 100%. I just love the way that my eyeshadow turned out more. The lips, I would have to give it to the Saks Fifth Avenue side, but it's just because of the color, because I really like the nude. But the actual foundation, the base, the concealer, the powder, everything else, I would have to give it to Dollar General, especially because the La Mer foundation is already creasing. I have a huge crease right here on my lash lines, and it's not as poreless as the Dollar General one. The Dollar General, everything kind of fits so much better. But leave a comment down below letting me know what side you guys like more. If you guys like the Saks Fifth Avenue side, there's honestly no wrong doing with that. I'm gonna leave you guys with that though. Thank you guys so much for watching, but please remember baby girl whether it be super expensive makeup from Saks Fifth Avenue that Tom Ford that Charlotte Tilbury that Gucci or whether it be that Believe Beauty $5 makeup baby girl it is crazy what you deserve do not limit yourself you shouldn't have to want and I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video bye I'm actually gonna use the very same brush because Apparently, your girl bought two. And when it's broken,